I'm at Rifton. That's me. We're ready for you. Your father did this to you? Mm-hmm. Used his belt. Oh, you poor thing. What was the offense? The neighbor's cat. What? I dissected the neighbor's cat. Oh. That's why dad belted me. I see. This is Emmett Rifton, a boy three days shy of 18, with an unbridled curiosity for pain and torture. His companion goes by the name of Elfie, age unknown. The two live in a world founded upon injustice where parents, unwilling to discipline their own children, lay punishment on the stand-ins they call whipping boys. These stand-ins must spare the privileged child's beatings until the child gains the title of adult. Then, only then, will they understand the concept of physical and emotional pain, a concept Mr. Ripton will know all too well. For in three days' time, upon his 18th birthday, he'll begin a descent into what's known as the Midnight Sector. You're standing on the edge. And you jump. Into the space between spaces. Into the times between times. Over the edge. Into the unknown. You have entered the Midnight Sector. Hey, come on, hurry up. Yeah, I know you got in trouble back there, but um, it was something, wasn't it? That was something. Yeah, I didn't know the cat could scream like that when I opened it. Does it still hurt? A little. Hey, I applied for the um, maturity bureau. I applied for adulthood again. Oh. I just thought you'd want to know. Here, watch this. Doesn't even fight back. See? You shouldn't cry so much when Dad hits you. Why not? You just sh shouldn't. I don't. I don't like it. It makes it makes me feel. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm the sick kid and everyone knows that, but you're still the one getting beaten up. Doesn't that make you... mad? Just forget it. I, I won't cry if you don't want me to. I said forget it, Alfie. Okay. Emmett, honey, don't miss the bus if you don't hurry. Coming. Hey, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. I thought I recognized you. You're whipping boy, that is. From the detentions I run? You need something from me? As 
a matter of fact, this came in this morning from the Maturity Bureau. This is your third time playing, wasn't it? Everyone says third time's a charm. I wouldn't open it now, of course. Maybe after school, it is a private matter after all. You're going to be marked absent. After a long consideration, yeah, blah, 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 18th birthday coming up here. Coming of age, coming of age has been approved. Coming of age has been approved. What, what does it mean? Date set for tomorrow. I don't understand. Don't you get it, Alfie? I'm gonna be an adult tomorrow. I mean, I, I, look. I'm gonna be able to feel pain, just like you. Just like me, but. Wait, 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 shh, shh. Let's go. You are late, Mr. Ripton. Oh, really? I had no idea. This is your third tardy this week, boy. Yes, ma'am, it is. Feening respect doesn't suit you. You're contemptuous, lazy. Don't you think that's an issue that needs to be addressed? Well, uh, you know what needs to be addressed? What? The size of your ego. Are we done here? Good. Howard. Yeah, go and hit him all you want. You think that's gonna change me? Change any of us? Yeah, I'm a bad kid, that's right. There's something wrong with me. There's something not quite right with me. Well, what are you gonna do, hit him? You're a sick, twisted child, M Mr. Rifton. I've heard what you do for fun. I don't care what you think of me. Tomorrow, none of it's gonna matter. I'll be an adult. And he's not going to be my whipping boy anymore. That's right, I've got the coming of age tomorrow. You think you're so tough hitting him, but tomorrow, you won't be able to hurt him anymore. Naive. It's not fair, it's not. Well, it's over now. Why don't they hit me? Does it still hurt? A little. You're my best friend, you know. I know. Honey, you're coming of ages tomorrow. We should clean you up a bit. Emmett Rifton, please enter the Bureau. Don't! What the- What are you doing? Get 
away from me! Let go of me! Yes, I got my letter! Let go of me! What? And it rifted. You have stepped into this bureau to take on the life of an adult, am I correct? Why else would I be here? Of course not! Tell them to get their hands off of me! You therefore are ready to face the world as a true citizen? You accept the burden of a life comprised of pain? You have made the conscious and willing decision to experience true suffering? Yes! My god! How many times do I have to say it?! Then it is done. Your immersion into adulthood begins now. Come in, Mr. Ifton. I found a dead mouse underneath my laundry basket. I've forgotten about it until this morning. What was it you said, ma'am? Naive? Take your seat, Emma. A boy transformed. A man who, as one could very well predict, will never be the same. Changed forever by the discovery of a pain of the heart he never fathomed. With the death of innocence comes the birth of maturity that drains the soul. Emmett Rifton, constructed into an adult in a matter of seconds, will all forever regret the maturity. But the true villains of this tragedy is the society. A society hellbent on destroying the beauty that is innocence. Tonight's story, Death of a Child and Death of a Childhood in the Midnight Sector.